Welcome to VG Bus. We're watching Emerald Legacy. Oops, I said his name wrong. No, you said it correctly. It is, it is Legacy. He's gassy because of all the food he eats. <laughs> oh, well, yes, that Louisiana cooking will do it. Oh, another ad. Hold on, we're getting the Mr. Fat Man in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Barely high five. He had to get cables to put his arms up. <laughs> oh, an appliance. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the inside of Emerald's body. <laughs> Bubbling fast. He actually bubbles before he shits. <laughs> he actually bubbles. Is that how he knows he has to use the bathroom? Is that he starts bubbling? <laughs> and then, yes. and he's like, oh, I gotta get ready. Yes. And that Hope is... there's toilet paper in there. <laughs> no, there may not be. People are holding it. <laughs> yeah, then when he sits on the toilet, he actually starts bubbling. It just starts. I mean, you can actually hear it. So it's like a volcano. It's like a volcano. Yes. I gotcha. Oh, and wait till you see what his shit looks like. No, yes, everything's a hassle. <laughs> what is this, a Richard Lewis machine? <laughs> it's a Richard Lewis machine. Because everything's a hassle. E everything's a hassle to Richard Lewis. Why'd you put that huge pot in there? I don't know. Oh, there is his shit. <laughs> there it is. Black and red. <laughs> I think you got a problem there, Admiral. Oh, no. <laughs> That's that was his child. <laughs> I was going to say gold, Goldstone, but I guess you could say child. <laughs> it's both. He calls his Goldstone a child. <laughs> so he passes that and then, mm -hmm. oh, I got a child. Emerald Jr. <laughs> oh, I can just see him screaming, bam, bam. <laughs> Crispy. Juicy on the inside. What we're frying is with super hot air, not oil. Look at how hot air is what comes out your behind. <laughs> oh boy, we've got the corny people in the audience again. This is great. I'm sure they're all in bad health. <laughs> Their blood work comes back in danger. <laughs> There's no number. <laughs> What would she know? What are her credentials? My friends, it's a 12-pound turkey. He's got a live turkey in his belly. <laughs> and it's kicking like a baby. And then he shits that out. Boy, what a, boy, what a thing to have just come out of your ass. And it's a still live. And it's still alive. Laughing around, trying to get out of the bathroom. He's <laughs> the shit out of him in the bathroom. I'm still saying he's bullshit on that 12 pound turkey. Built in drip pan. I've never seen that. Just put it in the dishwasher and say goodbye. Or, you know what you could do? You could wash it yourself and it'll be faster. We're Americans, we can't do. I talked way too fast on that, too. <laughs> we can't do things like that? I guess we can't do things like that. We need a machine. To do <laughs> he, he dropped the meat on the floor. And she that ate it. She picked it up and ate it. And she ate it. But look at this. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Look at that. Straight out of the end. Straight out of the Oh, disgusting. That's Emerald's <laughs> intestine. Yeah. <laughs> corn muffins. <laughs> oh, my. Intestine muffins. He's having trouble, Emerald? Oh, he's having lots of trouble. Look at how he's shaking. Set it on a bed. <laughs> Set it on a bed. Oh, yeah. But you gotta have Is he talking about losing weight? 
Oh my god, he puts his wife's placenta in a bottle. What a disgusting man. <laughs> Xbox 360? <laughs> yes. It, th this machine is going to red ring. How many people in our audience have a toaster oven on their counter? Oh, they, they thought that you said how many people have a BMI over 50? <laughs> well, they misunderstood what she said. Yes. That's why they raised their hands. Now, why do people put their toaster oven on? Mine's put away. <laughs> Enough already, take a bite. The hamburger's not So now that brings me to another. Wow. Do these guys worship hamburgers? Restaurant quality molten chocolate cake right here. Rest I love how she said restaurant quality. I know Applebee's serves that. I think they call it the triple chocolate meltdown. Okay, so that's what he was trying to emulate. So it's made from... Oh, there's that little shit again. <laughs> Why does he show that? Yeah, I made, a, I made a Thanksgiving turkey and there was no problem. You didn't use a plastic bag? <laughs> Why would I use a plastic bag? Well, I guess that is a thing. You gotta put a plastic bag in an oven. That's, oh, wow. That's how it's made. Oh, that, that's delicious. I always wanted turkey with a heavy amount of plastic just melted on there. Yeah. For, forget the, the seasoning or anything. I want plastic. That's right. When I go to KFC, they ask me, do you want original crispy or, or plastic? You know, you might want to and take I the say plastic. plastic. Yeah, you because might. I love the taste of those toxins. <laughs> There's yeah. toxins either way at KFC. <laughs> In that delicious curdled chicken. <laughs> it's, it's Kentucky Fried Chemicals. And and I don't know if you heard because uh, I, I think the report of the week is going to be reviewing this soon. But KFC is going to have plastic stuffed chicken. Oh, a chicken that's injected with melted plastic. I can't wait to see him take a bite out of it and show us the insides. <laughs> oh, he's always going to ship it to us for free. But then you have to pay to ship it back. It's, it's probably going to just be him in his van dropping it off. Oh boy. Oh my god. So let's see, we're, so now we're ingesting MSG. That's in barbecue chips. That's what it's called a farty. <laughs> that room is going to be filled with flatulence. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Did you look at the blonde? She was not entertained. I did. She was not. She wants to see it again. <laughs> so this is what he does with his tongue. How <laughs> does that look good? <laughs> Do you know, he, had, he reminds me a little bit of Peter Laurie. I forgot about Do you want your salmon like that? I mean, it's a perfectly nice piece of fish. And he just turned it into, he just pussified it. Because he is the Peter Lorre of the cooking world. Hey, <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> I gotta say, as much as I'm making fun of her, she's actually more of a tolerable host at Bull Riles. And whoever about the lady? Ron, 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 Ron Popeil. Yeah. And let you be the judge. What was her name? Eileen or something? I forgot what her name was. I guarantee you're gonna wanna try this. Absolutely. But I, I, don't, I think she was only on one, and I think there's a reason for that. Really gooey, cheesy. It's not overpowering. And then when I It's not a piece of meat. That's Play-Doh. <laughs> Well, Gerbert would love it, then. 
think that is Gerbert's favorite meal. Oobop a deedle. I just want to eat this meal with you. He's rolling the play though. One. Rotisserie play though. Yeah. Oh shut up, Baldy. <laughs> he really loves the play though. Check this out. It looks like Emerald Spleen. Correct. No foil, okay? Is there a reason to do that? All those flavors tied together, the marinara sauce. Because it didn't have enough fat before. Every one of Emerald's meals has to have more than 5,000 calories. If it's 4,999, he throws it out. <laughs> you He's got to have 5,000 or more. <laughs> wow. Yes, we have to pay to ship it back. And that's going to be a lot of money to ship that. Oh, Emerald. yeah. Emerald's got this all thought out. Or else you have to take a drive to Wallingford, Connecticut. <laughs> and try and find somebody to drop it off to. They'll be out of business by that point. They'll just take the money and leave. Probably what Ron Popeil did. <laughs> his his P.O. boxes kept changing. Yes. P.O. box 341 changing it to 189. <laughs> Look at how fat his fingers are. Worcestershire sauce. Probably MSG in there too with caramel color. Oh yeah, you're right, his fingers are fat. All we're going to do is take Blanche pasta, add the meats. Oh, no, yeah, add, add, add the meats. Fresh basil, we're going to take that now. Oh no. So there's a lot of sodium nitrate. The meats. Oh. Add the meats. Oh. Just go here. Oh, you son of a bitch, you put the pasta in a pie? <laughs> This is like a go to all of the garden. <laughs> this is Emerald's. This is this is his infection in his cold. Oh. Yep, yeah, there it is. We're gonna go on with a witch. And then. Well, you know, the way it's done. Oh, delicious maggot filled pie. Oh, we got more coming, don't we? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> this is one powerful appliance. Yes, you better believe it. What we're going to do is we're oh. going to There's the corny moans. Oh. Sandwich. Golden brown on both You're a panini head. Yeah, where's Gordon Ramsay when you need him? He would, he would, he would be having a fit. You don't need Emerald to make a panini, mate. <laughs> you need a pan. Oh, here we go with the bread crap. And then you hear another. What is that? His large intestines? <laughs> yes. Making noise? Is that what he's talking about? I think that's what he's talking about. <laughs> And he's like, oh shit, what if I gotta find the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, I guarantee he has trouble like this. I'm sure he does. Just look at all the stuff he eats. I, I'm sure he has a toilet chair in his living room. <laughs> oh my god, look at that mammoth. <laughs> because he can't make it to the bathroom. Oh, there goes pie in the... Pie yeah. in a chalice. Yes. That's actually, pudding, whatever it's it is. It's actually a big chalice that he has in his toilet <laughs> chair. Oh, the chalice toilet chair. <laughs> so when he has... It, so it is covered it, with cardboard. So when his wife empties it, she's all, she's all proud. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's carrying the challenge. A challenge. Yeah. <laughs> A giant chalice. <laughs> Wish that would show the fat lady in the crowd again. Did you notice that Emerald was very shaky? He was, yeah. I wonder if he's got. What is that? Parkinson's. <laughs> I'm sure he has Obesity it. kid. <laughs> it's a toaster oven with a fan. <laughs> It's a convection toaster oven, if you want to call it that. <laughs> oh my god, there's his shit again. <laughs> he loves the show. He does. That came out of the chalice. <laughs> There's the Applebee's cake again. I, I wanted to interview these people in the audience. Oh, yeah, like Popeil does. Yes. What do you think about my product? Oh, I shit the chalice too. <laughs> oh, great. Bam! 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 <laughs> oh, there's still a little more. <laughs> Don't tell me, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's a little more. <laughs> it's coming out easy now. <laughs> oh, it wasn't before. <laughs> no, no, it gets stuck in his ass hand. Oh. So it gets stuck there at first, but then it just it just slides after that. Because it's all gunk. Oh, because it's broken the seal. <laughs> yes, it's broken the seal. <laughs> I mean, come on, folks. He has to have problems. <laughs> he does. With his gastrointestinal tract. Oh, I'm sure. Just look at the stuff he eats. We'll give you a high five. So what did you think about Emerald's Power Air Fryer Xbox 360? I think it's another shitty product that's not going to work. The fan will just break off. Uh, folks, if you have one, or know somebody that has one, please comment. You know what? I think Susu Beardheart is going to be taking notes. Yeah, Susu, comment if you have one. Yes, it's food. You love food, and don't tell us you don't, because you we, just by looking at you, we can tell you love food. <laughs> Unhealthy food at that. I like the Teddy's Cream Soda. <laughs> yeah, the Teddy's Cream Soda, the, the Surge Slushy. And, of course, leave any other comments as well. And please subscribe. <laughs>